welcome back my addiction it is hotter than there's a whole bunch of sayings for this but i am dripping like bacon grease in a frying pan right now i don't have a rag to wipe the sweat out of my eyes unfortunately and i'm just wiping sand in but i'm classifying material so i can wash it out later join me for a little bit you can watch the process if you want Hopefully I've got this thing pointed in the right direction. Unfortunately, I can't see the screen real well because the sun is beating on myself bad. But there's my classifying bucket. The hole that I'm digging out of, I'm standing in. I got water in there. Water always makes this process so much easier. I just classify down the basic uh, window screen uh, size here because... I haven't found much here, uh, any bigger than that. So, bring your scoop in, sloshing it around, all the fines go through. Pulling off the big heavy stuff, tossing it aside. And do a quick check for any nuggets, because you never know. I have found a couple decent sized pieces here in Michigan, just not, uh, oh, that's a beautiful little, uh, you're going in the keeper bucket. So, anyway, throwing my uh, tailings off to the side there. Get me another scoop. And this is where the heavy stuff, I'm assuming, by my last two cans, is settling out from the wash tank, wash line, whatever you want to call it. But I've got a couple buckets already up in the truck that I've classified out and I cannot wait to get back to run that stuff all I've got is my uh, adventure sleuth and my six gallon bucket but so far I panned the tailing summit a couple times and not a damn thing has gotten through it I'll tell you what that is a good product mini adventure sleuth by dream map I believe it's uh I want to say four inches wide and about 16 inches long and I do have the one with the flare on it so I could use it in the creek but you can't here in Michigan so I found another use for it but it's uh it works great for the setup I got going here in a minute I'll walk you up and I'll show you that and you can see and this bucket's already almost full and you can see what I've uh how I'm using it this is mostly sand you know I came in here well, about two weeks ago and dug right in here somewhere so it could be just uh, re-digging the same spot but I'm trying to get down farther where some heavier materials might have settled out yeah my bucket's getting full this stuff doesn't even want to settle out but basically this is what I'm doing let me walk you up and I'll give you a quick view of the dream mat six gallon sleuth of mine and it worked great and I'm more than happy with it I've got the big setup that I made is all dream mat and I haven't got anything that's went through that yet either last week I had a little bit of an issue on my last run what I thought was an issue turns out wasn't uh, if you've seen the pan that I posted on my Facebook page, it was one of my best ones yet for a clean out. And uh, I was having a bunch of open holes in the matting when I was done where there was nothing that fell into the drop ripples. But I don't know if I had a little bit of oil or something on there. Didn't allow that stuff to settle into those. Because I did clean the mats out. And uh, that might have been the issue. Okay, full bucket. Time to take it up to the truck. Let me take you guys for a little walk. And I'll show you that six-gallon bucket sleuth of mine here real quick. Anyway, there's the addiction hole. I'm about to fill it in and probably move back in here a little bit and get my next few samples. I got to be real careful. That I don't pick the camera up too far and show anybody where I'm at. 
because this is the addiction hall. It's not the public hall. I had to ask for permission to gain access to this spot. And I'd like to keep my permission to my secret spot. But this is my six gallon sleuth, my dream mat that I got coming out the side and a recirculating pump. I'll take that green tote right there, fill it with water, run my pump back into there. And once the bucket gets so full, it'll run water through there. About nine degrees. And uh, yeah, anyway, there we are. Please tune back in, like the video. Please like the videos, it helps me. I really like that, and I like to see it if someone does like my videos. But tune back in, here in a few hours, I'll get them washed, and we'll see what's in them. And let me tell you, it's gonna be awesome. Don't miss it, bye for now.